FanDuel Sports betting in Massachusetts could take a huge step forward this week. Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Lisa Hughes. And I'm David Wade. Paula is on assignment tonight. On Thursday, state senators will debate a bill that gamblers have been waiting years to see. And as WBZ's Tiffany Chan shows us, supporters are betting on a victory. And if this becomes law in Massachusetts, adults will be able to place bets on sports games like the Celtics, Patriots, Red Sox, and Bruins by the end of the year. It's a high-stakes vote that could pave the way for legalized sports betting in Massachusetts. I think it's, uh, we're in good shape. I think it's highly likely that it'll pass. The state Senate is gearing up to vote on a bill Thursday allowing adults 21 and up to bet money on sports games at a casino or from the convenience of a cell phone. I'll enter these teams in only a contest. Bobby Gomes makes a living playing daily fantasy sports and believes expanding gaming here makes sense since neighboring states have passed similar laws. People are going to go to New Hampshire or Rhode Island to place bets, but like I said, it's easier to do from the comfort of your own home. Basically, all of our neighbors, Rhode Island, New Hampshire, Connecticut, New York, have all legalized sports betting, so we are losing business. And legalizing the industry, Senator Eric Lesser says, will keep tax dollars in Massachusetts. We're estimating uh, anywhere between about $35 million to $65 million. Uh, there's a lot of details that matter. Details like whether people should be able to wager college sports or use a credit card to place bets. The Massachusetts Council on Gaming and Health warns that making gambling more accessible does have its risks. That mobile is, uh, you know, a, a big piece of this this new approach, and so 24 hours a day you're able to access uh, gambling. But it is more of a challenge because somebody's not looking over your shoulder. The House passed a similar bill last summer, so if this does make it to the governor's desk, he's already signaled support for legalizing sports betting. Outside of the State House in Boston, I'm Tiffany Chan for WBZ News.